Hello and welcome to Demo Reel. As always, I'm your host, New Photoson, and we are on the PlayStation 1 this week. Uh, opening up with uh, kind of a strange video here. I'm not sure what exactly this is. It looks like um, like a music video or... Oh, wait. Um, oh, this is a... Okay, this is a trailer for Shadow Man. Alright, I wasn't sure what we were looking at for a second. But, um, yeah, I, I remember this game. I remember... <laughs> I don't remember this commercial, but I remember seeing that guy with his glasses all over, um, like, uh, magazines and stuff for a while. They, they, it was pretty heavily advertised, but I don't actually know anything about that game. But anyway, uh, as is normal with the PlayStation 1, uh, demos, we actually have an, an opening for the disc rather than just a, a trailer. That we have, we have both this week. Um, but we've, we've seen this one before, although I only think once, um, with this, like, uh, train barreling through a, a, a bridge of some kind here. I don't know, it's the, it's a train themed menu. <laughs> um, but I, I kind of like this one. We haven't seen it as much as some of the others, so it's, it's kind of nice to see uh, a little bit of uh, variation here. And there's our official US PlayStation Magazine logo, uh, letting us know exactly what we're playing. Um, and yeah, that's it. I like the, the theme song on this disc. It's got uh, a lot of the theme songs, or actually all the theme songs on these discs are pretty generic, but I kind of like this one. Uh, I don't know what what it is about this one I like. But anyway, here are our games. Uh, up first is Cool Borders 3, and then we've got uh, Grandia, should be interesting. Uh, NFL Blitz 2000, uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped, we've seen that a few times. Uh, 40 Winks, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, and then Mag 3, uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, we've played that a couple of times. And then here's where our videos start. We have a video for Fear Factor. Um, I'm not sure why this exists. Uh, then the, the Shadow Man video we just saw, uh, Demolition Racer, um, Rhino Serology, oh this is a commercial for I think a clothing line, I think I recognize that logo, uh, Lego Rock Raiders video, a video for Supercross Circuit, um, Kingsley's Quest, and then uh, G Police 2, uh, pretty exciting stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into our playable demos here with uh, Cool Borders 3. Not going to be... Uh, anything too exciting right off the bat here, but kind of interestingly, instead of uh, controls, we've got a Greatest Hits available now uh, for Cool Border 3, but let's, yeah, let's start this. Um, oh, there we go, okay. I thought, uh, I thought that was all we had, but we've got on-ground controls, and then uh, grab controls while in the air. Um, I don't know if I've ever noticed this screen on the Cool Borders games, though, um, this is pretty, it's pretty intuitive, the Cool Borders controls, so I've never been confused about how to do stunts. Um, and then flips while in the air. You can use circles. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start. I don't. I can never remember which cool borders we have and haven't played. I think by now we've probably played most of them. I'm. I'm positive we've played three, uh, probably a couple of times. It seems like cool borders is one of the most uh, frequently seen games we have on this show. It's just, but it never leaves much of an impression. So I never really get like um, upset about it because you know, like some games. We, when we see them multiple times, they get a little bit tired because they're like, uh, they're super long or, or they just um, don't have a lot to offer. And this one really doesn't have much to offer, but it's so short that I never, I never even remember when we have played Cool Borders because it's like this will be over in just a minute. Um, I'm just gonna land on my head a few times here because I don't actually, I don't know how to get any good air. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Did a, we did a trick. Uh, ten tricks. <laughs> um, Always, always good to turn some tricks when we get our, our snowboarding game here. Let's see if I can find another little hill to jump off of. Okay, so the problem is, um, and this is something I always do in Cool Borders, I don't, I forget how the jumps work, so I just hold X and then let go of it when I want to jump. Because in some games, like, uh, I think Tony Hawk will let you just hold uh, power, but here we've got the power, and if I, <laughs> we've got the power! To see, if I keep holding it, it just drops back down. Um, so I have to... I have to time it a lot better, and it's actually kind of harder than um, a lot of uh, a lot of similar games where I can just hold it and then let it go when I'm ready to jump. Uh, you have to you have to kind of know when the jumps are coming, uh, or when the good points to jump are. Um, though I haven't really been focusing on points at all here. We've got uh, like ten, right? That's all we've gotten. Um, and I don't know. We can try to get some more here, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, fifty. Wow, fifty. Oh, and I fell on the rocks. Okay. Um, well, we were in third place, but now we're in fourth, because I landed on those rocks. Um, 
we've got kind of... I don't know if I've mentioned that there's some different surfaces here, and the game's really good about letting us know when we're on a different surface by changing the way the, the uh, rumble, or the, the controller rumbles. So, um, and that's not anything revolutionary. I don't even think at this point it was, but it's just kind of nice to know when we're, um, when we're on something different, like rocks or ice. Yeah, we just died. Um, we're a skateboarding corpse now. This is like something out of a, um, like a 90s comedy, you know, just a corpse tied to a skateboard going down a, a hill, but we made it. Um, yeah, that's one sad dead man. Uh, 30 amazing runs on huge, five huge mountains, six events per mountain. Uh, board across downhill, 23 authentic snowboards, 20 world-class snowboarders, two players split screen, uh, tons of awesome tricks, spins, flips, grabs, and combinations, add up to thousands of trick possibilities. Um, just, just thousands of them. Um, it's, it's a fun game. Alright, so this is Grandia. Um, we've got multiple controls here too. There's town controls and battle controls. Um, oh, there's no exit from this demo. Um, console must be reset. That's always nice to see. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this one. Since we're playing this on a PlayStation and the, there's a Sony Computer Entertainment America Presents there, obviously this is the port of the game. Since originally this was made for, I want to say the Saturn. Uh, it might have been the Genesis. I know it was a, a Sega console. Um, but it's just a, a neat looking RPG that I've always kind of thought had, had kind of a nice aesthetic. Maybe a little bit, um, generic as far as like JRPGs go. But I'm I'm curious to see how it plays because I've never actually played, I don't think any of the Grandia games. Um, looks like we're opening up in. Uh, I'm not sure where this is. Um, I'm not even sure if this is a studio logo, but it's just this really slow. Uh, okay, all right now we're okay. So we're in the game. I don't know what that was. That was kind of weird looking. It looked like um, something out of Alien. <laughs> but yeah, here we see get to see some of the. Uh, CGI graphics or the cutscene graphics, which looks really good, honestly. And they, oh, there's some uh, animated stuff too. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I like um, when we get to see like some some good times games have really long opening videos that I get kind of tired of. But a lot of the games, those especially ones that have good videos like this one, uh, I kind of enjoy when we get to see it. Uh, it makes me want to play the game a little bit so that I'm actually kind of psyched for it once we get to it. Though. I was already a little bit excited for Grandia, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see how, how well this is aged. Like, obviously it doesn't look like it came off of a PS4 or something, but um, considering the, the time period this came out, I think, yeah, I think this looks really good. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what the actual gameplay graphics look like, because obviously these are these are all cutscenes, but... Um, huh. So, okay, so there's like uh, airplanes, looks like? Uh, yeah, there's um, all these military vehicles here. I don't know uh, what role they play. I don't actually know much about the story of Grandia at all. I just know I, I know what the character designs look like, and I've seen um, I've seen the box art before a few times, but uh, I'm not I don't know too much about. It. Yeah, there's the characters. I really like these designs. I think they're cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is pretty cool here. It's um, like a, a big wasteland area, like somewhere you'd see a Dragon Ball Z fight. Alright, so here's our logo, uh, our, our logo, our, our opening screen here, with the uh, the same image, although it's kind of nice to tell us we're playing a demo. Looks like there's some movies, um, I'm kind of curious, yeah, the, okay, so we've got three movies here, Ghost Ship, Military Base, and The Grand Year. We won't be watching them, um, because we're here for the game, but it's kind of interesting to note that that's there. Um, we've got Town and Battle, so we'll, we'll try both of these out. Of course, RPG demos later would just have everything in one thing, but uh, I, I can see why they would split it up on the, the PS1 here. So here's a, our main character who says, Say, Mom, how can we get on a ship to the new continent? What is all this? Uh, what is this all of a sudden? Well, I always used to go back and forth on my own ship. Uh, that's right, you used to be Lily the Skull, right? What? Really? Okay. Well, if you want to know about ships, why don't you go to the port? That's it? That's one way to do it. Come on, Sue. We're going to the port tomorrow. So we're just kind of jumping right in here with um, him wanting to go to uh, get his ship. Okay, so now I've got a cursor I can move around. It's an it's a glove when it's over these two characters' heads, but then it's like a box over this guy. Um, okay, so I guess... Alright, I probably should have clicked on the girls first. I think it was conversation options. But anyway, he says, That was delicious. I'm full. A way to get to the new continent. We'll try to find one starting tomorrow, right, Justin? Justin? That's not what I would have guessed his name was. 
Okay. Um, Alright, so now we're in here. Uh, good morning, Justin! Let's go and have fun again today! And then she, um, okay, she's following me. Cool. I like, I like this. Oh, wow, that's neat. I walk by this and it rustles. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is really well done. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed already. We haven't even left the, our bedroom. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything I can interact with. Okay, he says, oops, I almost forgot. I, uh, kept some money hidden here. I'm glad mom didn't see this. She's always saying, waste not, want not. Okay, so, I had money here. Oh yeah, I already got it from here. Oh yeah, I, uh, clicked it again. So, I wonder if that moving around is just to tell us to click there. Um, it's interesting. We'll have to keep note of that. Because nothing else here I seem to be able to... Oh, I can. I tried opening this earlier. I guess I was in the wrong position. Yeah, this is it. Gotta have this on an adventure. Adventure can't be forgetting such an important thing. First aid kit acquired. Okay. Um, I think... Oh, wait. Um, poison antidote. Okay. So, I think we're good. But this is a real Icarian statue. Dad wouldn't have gotten a fake. This one's even cooler than the statue in the museum, but I bet the curator would say it's a fake. Someday I'll discover the Angelou civilization myself. The Maya Angelou civilization? I'll prove that Dad's right. Angelou civilization. That's interesting. I'm I'm curious to see what exactly is going on here. There was a text box there, but it, I was already walking down the stairs before I could see what it was. Justin's living room. Or maybe it was just saying what room we were in, so it was kind of like that one. What's this? Stashing place. Okay, we don't need to stash anything. I think we're good. Um, it's looking around here. Just looking if there's anything I should interact with. Man, I knocked all these bottles over. That's. I really like the way the environments behave. This is really fun. Uh, I'm, I'm just having a blast seeing what I can knock over or rustle. Um, yeah, that that kind of jiggles when I try to inter talk to it. Um, nothing there today. Uh, I guess that was uh, some kind of bulletin board. Might be important update information there in the full game. Uh, if we were here for a long period of time, but now we're in, um, oh no, we're, we're still in the restaurant, okay. I thought we were maybe going to be, uh, out in the town, but there's so much to interact with, we're not making much progress here. Wow, Mom, you're pretty quick, changing the menu already? What's on the menu today? Um, okay, and there's no answer, alright. I, uh, I think we should go, let's see, to the town of Parm, okay. So we went down the stairs to the restaurant, then we have to go up, up some stairs, it looks like, to get out into the town. But we should be... Yeah, okay, here we are. Come on, let's go to the harbor, Justin. Aren't we going to ask about the ship? Okay, so I'm guessing the compass is pointing where I want to go, or... I know it's just moving around. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Uh, a one, two, three, a one, two, three. Right foot in, right, left. Uh, left hand lightly and turn. Say there, what you doing? That a new kind of game? Show me how to play. You're so silly, Justin. She's practicing her dance. Is that the waltz? Okay, we probably won't talk to every person, um, because we'll be here all day if we talk to everybody, um, because there's just people all around, and I'm sure they all have cute, fun things to say, um, and I would, if I was playing the game casually, I would definitely try to talk to everyone, um, but here, we're trying to get to our objective so we can go on and try out the battle system as well, um, like, this, this game's already sold me on its, its town interaction, this is really, really nice looking, um, <laughs> I, uh, we haven't played a, an RPG like this in a while, it seems like, or I'm trying to think when the last one even was. Uh, I don't know, but, um, it's always nice when we get to play, like, a, a JRPG like this, because they're, they're usually really, really good. <laughs> Let's see, there's a, can I interact with this? No, okay. It was like, a, I was just wondering about that great, um, I don't know, let's talk to one or two more people. Hmm, who's behind this? Taking these flyers on the walls of other people's houses. Ah, I know! It must have been you, Justin! Huh? It wasn't me! Look in these eyes! Are these lying eyes? No! You can't hide your lying eyes, man. Um, let's see... Um, I, I'm trying to figure out where we're going... Uh, cause... Okay, we just went into... Uh, someplace, I didn't see... Uh... I, I keep looking at the, um... The port of Prime. Okay, we're in the port. So I, kept, I keep looking at that... Uh, compass, but it's, it's just slowly rotating around. It's not really going anywhere. I wonder who we should talk to about getting a ship. And is there anyone out on this dock here? Um, yeah, this looks good. There's a military guy up here. I can t maybe talk to him. I think that might be helpful here. Hi, Justin. Come to see the sea? It's calm today. Look, lots of ships around. Say, Mr. Wren, how can I get on a ship to the New World? Huh? You mean the steamer? Ho oh, ho, I think I told you already. The steamer docks at night. Well, it's 
but it's day. Well, I want to go on a ship now. I want to go see the new world. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can talk to some other people. Um, on the other side of the sea, there must be a whole new unseen world. Wow, hearing that gets me excited. A whole new unseen world. Yep, I'm gonna go. Haha, uh -huh, I'm sure you'll go, Justin. I'd like to travel the world too. Uh, let's see. It's another. Uh, there's a couple of people here who look kind of the same. I am a floundering ship. I love you, Mumble Mumble. Why are you wandering around here? Did you lose something? I was just thinking of a line to set my girl's heart on fire. I'm finally going to propose to her. I'm going to win her heart on a romantic night at the harbor. Oh, that's sweet. Um, hey, this guy looks different. Even if it is the rule of the sea, throwing people overboard is in a peril is no fun. But that's what you get for trying to stow away without seeing a steamer pass. A steamer pass? Oh, you can't get on a ship to the New World without a passport. Boy, don't you even know that? Except for sailors and soldiers, everyone else needs a pass. Well then, how do you get this pass? I want to go to the New World too. Hmm, getting one from someone else is the fastest way, maybe? I remember an old man in the cafe in North Parm telling adventure stories, showing everyone a smelly old pass. I think his name was Java. Uh, he's an adventurer too, so I'll just go ask this guy named Java. The cafe is in North Parm, right? Okay, so we need to go to North Parm and update our Java. Uh, I think... Uh, is that just the area we were in before, or was that, like, West Parm or something? I don't know, we'll just head back, uh, down this way. The town of Parm, okay. Um, so, yeah, this is the part where, where RPGs become kind of difficult for me. Like, ideally, if I was going to let's play an RPG, I would know what I was doing going in. Um, I don't, I, like, I, I have a tendency to play a lot of things blind, but I think a game like this would be, that would be awful. Um, but here for the demo, um, I think it's probably okay. We'll just, let's see, I'm just going to try and explore some of these buildings on the upper part. Um, house, first floor. Let's see, um, the door opened, okay. Now, I'm trying to remember, he said, yeah, he didn't say he was in, like, a house, he said he was in, like, a, a tavern or something, right? Uh, did my mom tell you my daddy's going to, coming back to the ship pretty soon? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is all interesting, but I'm, I'm getting a little tired of reading every little thing. Um, although it looked like it was kind of important, normally the girl doesn't chime in. I wonder what the mom has to say. Oh, hello, Justin, can you guess why I'm so happy today? Well, if it were Aunt Lily, then her special dish came out perfect! That's right, if a new dish comes out well, Mom gives me extra allowance. Hee <laughs> hee, not quite. My sailor husband is coming back from the new continent soon, heart. Okay, so I need to look for a building that stands out, I think. It's, I don't think it would look like just a normal house. Hmm. I'm going to look around a little bit, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll cut out some of my wandering here. <laughs> Why, it's Justin, the mischievous, and Sue, the most popular girl in Palm. What brings you to Gramps' house? Uh, can you cut out the mischievous part? Gramps, you're always so frank. I love that. Um, thought maybe this was the house. Oh, it's just you two. Justin and little Sue. You're always so full of energy. Graham, can you tell us another story about when you were a kid? Justin said he wants to hear one. Huh? Sue, weren't you the one who wanted to come? Well, I do want to hear a story. Ho, ho, ho. Did I tell you one? Um, and I guess we don't get to hear it. So I thought maybe this was the house because it was old people here. But, yeah, so all the houses, <laughs> the hat rack rocked around. So we've got um, a number of houses, by which I mean the houses are all numbered. Um, we saw house one and two, that was house five. Um, and I'm not seeing anywhere where the old man would be. Um, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of checking to see what some people are saying, see if anyone's giving me any hints. I'm not sure exactly where we want to be going. Um, I, I think I feel like I've been kind of all over the place, and I haven't seen anything that looks particularly um, important, and I've tried going to a few of the houses kind of at random. Um, so I'm gonna check back uh, with that guy, I think, and see what he, and see if he tells me again where to, where, where to go. Well, this is cool. We can move the camera around. So yeah, he said in the um, he said that he's in the cafe. What are these? Duel of the century. Gans versus Justin the coward. Results are in. Justin loses by default. That guy. He's the kind who never admits defeat. Yeah, Gantz is the one putting up these posters. I think they said something about, um, yeah, this one too. Uh, this, uh, Come At Me Bro poster there. Um, so let's see. Where would a cafe be? I was hoping we'd have a map. Uh, when I, I pulled up the start menu, but it just showed me the controls. So it did teach me that I can rotate the camera, which is cool. Um, I'm not used to this kind of game having a rotating camera. Um, 
Let's see, is this a cafe? Where is this? Um, the Soul Ruins with a letter of introduction from the curator. Okay, so, um, I guess this is a museum? Uh, can you read it for me? It says the ball me. Yeah, okay, so that's the museum that they were talking about earlier with my, um, my thing. So there might be something important in there, but right now I'm really focused on getting this passport from the old previous adventure, Java. Um, I think we're probably pretty far from the North Parm now, right? Uh, I don't know. I, the Parm doesn't really seem to be broken up into parts. Um, it's just the town of Parm. Railway station. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is the railway station. We saw the train. Um, it looks like there's some something called the Jewel Foundation that has a lot of money here. Um, but we don't have a penny to our name. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm doing something wrong by not uh, knowing where this cafe is. I, I don't know. We've gone pretty much everywhere. What does this sign say? Herbs open and armor. Okay, this is a general store. We are kind of getting an idea of the lay of the land a little bit here. Hopefully I'm not turning myself around too much with this rotating camera. But, um, here. So I'm assuming the red part of the compass is north, so I'm just going to go as far north as I can. And look around up here some more. Um, I'm looking for signs, mostly. Uh, it seems like the buildings that aren't houses have signs in front of them. Um, let's see, I... Try going in here. Yeah, this. Okay, this must be the Jewel Foundation. It's a big S on that. I assume it's a money thing. And there's a, the guy walking around over there told me not to get sealed in his clothes earlier. Um, veterans like me wouldn't call it for excavation duty. What kind of work is that? Maybe I have to change jobs in this turbulent age. There must be positions available. Okay. There's another rich guy. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to see where the front of this building is, but I don't actually see it. At least at the back here. Uh, come on, this gotta be, oh wait, um, this looks like it, the underground cafe, okay, you wanna see an adventure who comes into this cafe, can we come in, ma'am? Don't be silly, you're still a kid, anyway, I'm busy, that silly boy, he took the key with him again, someone took the key to the cafe and went somewhere, right? Alright, I'll go find him for you, wow, you sure? Okay, if you bring back the key, I'll let you in tonight, Are that silly boy, he must be off at the harbor watching the sequels again. Okay, um, so I think, alright, so we just have to go back to the harbor, um, it's got us jumping around back and forth, which is a little, uh, a little frustrating, but we should, shouldn't have too much trouble finding a kid on the harbor, it was a pretty small area compared to the town, which is huge, um, but I think, yeah, the, the harbor was just right up here, somewhere, I think, oh wait, um, yeah, it's just on the other side of these buildings, I think, so, I think it's just the port and the harbor are the same place, right? Um, <laughs> the port of Parn. So we'll wander around here for a little bit, find a boy, um, figure out if he has the key. So yeah, we mostly see soldiers up here. I didn't notice a boy running around. Or, or did I? I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to remember. Did we talk to a kid? We talked to most of the people that were different. Like this isn't a kid, right? Um, yeah, that's just the, uh, the other side of the world's person. Um, let's see, can we go in here? No. Uh, maybe, maybe we should go back out this way. They said he'd be what he was watching the seagulls, probably. So this seems like a good place to watch seagulls up here. But no, it's just the old guy. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure to talk to here. I'm not seeing anybody else. I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't go through that door. Uh, let's see. More soldiers. Oh, this does look like a different area that we haven't been to yet. Um, but I'm not seeing any kids anywhere. Um, it's a. Uh, oh wait, no, that's the town. Oh, this isn't a different place. We just walked in a circle. Huh. Well, this is a little frustrating. I've, I'm not sure where else to go. Um, yeah. Oh, this is the guy that has the key? I was looking for a kid. They, they said that silly boy. Uh, they were talking... Oh, okay. So, <laughs> alright. I'm glad we decided to talk to some random people. Um, alright, so we got the key. Um, I 
I was really under the impression that we were looking for a kid, so I was looking for child sprites. But that was just one of the soldiers. Anyway, so we got the key, and we seem to find that cafe again, which I think I remember where it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The, the town's really big. Um, it's kind of, like, it's impressive how big it is, but it, it's kind of easy for me to get lost. I wish we had a map. There, there might be a map, and I just didn't notice how to open it. I didn't see anything about the map on the, um, the control screen, but at the same time, I only glanced at it. But here, actually, we got to it pretty quickly. Alright, so, here's a woman. Um, ma'am, ma'am, I found it. This, isn't this it? The key to the cafe? Gives her the key. The cafe key. Yes, yes, this is it! God, I can finally open the cafe! Thanks for all your help, you two! We got some good jellyfish stew in the and so the customers will be happy! I'm so glad, ma'am! So, as you promised? Okay, okay. I'll be ready to open in a little while, so come back then! Alright, so I guess is it gonna jump ahead to night now for us? Since we have to wait for night until the, sh the boat gets here anyway. Okay. Uh, oh, we got like a, a little cutaway here. Uh, it has taken a long time, Mullen, and the difficulties have been great. Hey, yes, I apologize, Father. There was unforeseen distractions. Refrain from giving me excuses. Just tell me the results. Did you find it? Uh, forgive me, Father. I have not lived up to your expectations. I am prepared for the consequences. Try to zoom in. Um, consequences. Mullen, if you are not capable of producing results, who is? I can think of no one. Make preparations for the next strategic plan. Prepare to move out. I wonder who this guy is. Uh, like, is this our antagonist? Maybe? He's got kind of an antagonist look to him, but then he was really nice to uh, his kid there. Uh, why is General Ball in such a hurry? The plan was proceeding smoothly. He is probably just very tired. Father has his own way of looking at things. Your comments are not required. Forgive me, Colonel. I forgot my place. Yeah. Uh, Lieutenant Lean, I didn't mean it that way. Sir. Yes, sir. At any rate, we got nothing from the Salt Expedition. Yeah, so these people are all acting pretty nice to each other, so... But then there's an evil laugh, so I don't know. Um, Colonel Mullen? The boy was amusing. Justin, I believe. I guess we missed something. Colonel? It's been a while since I've seen you laugh like that, Colonel. I was thinking that it'd be nice to have at least one in our ranks with as much energy as that boy. At least we would be certain that things would never be boring. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay. Lean, prepare for departure. Destination, Alincia. Okay, we don't know the uh, context for that scene, so I, I don't know exactly what happened. But, um, looks like we're back here. Say, Justin, I can't wait to find out what kind of adventure Java is. Let's go, off to the cafe! Okay, so, oh, we're starting back at the house now, I guess. Um, let's see, the cafe was up in the right? Oh, this doesn't look familiar at all. Oh, wait, okay, so that's, that's the herb shop, so... I think we just need to cross this bridge, and it should be right around here. Um, but anyway, yeah, we didn't, uh, we, we don't know the context of that scene we just saw, so we don't actually know um, what any of that means. It seems like earlier in the game, Justin met those characters, and uh, something came of it, but um, I don't know if, I, I get an antagonist vibe from it, but then they were all being really nice to each other, which is unusual for an antagonist, but not completely unheard of. Here it is! I've never been to a cafe before. Sort of exciting. It's okay. Don't worry. No one is going to get mad. Let's go in. I wonder if this is being censored from cafe because they're acting like it's like a a bar or, or a strip club or something. Um, let's see. Is this your man? E gods, how ridiculous! I came all the way from the new world, but the excavation work is finished. Guess I'll tour the old world and go home. They don't have tourist traps like the end of the world. The end of the world, a tourist trap. Have you been there? Fool, no one's been there. I just saw it. I saw it. Okay. Um, is, is, that's another kid in here, right? So I guess it's not that odd. Um, looks like a waitress. Maybe this guy? Um, uh, wait, what? He said the, the Miss Curly is being, uh, is really cute. And then this girl's like flirting with him. But okay. Uh, for long day's work, this is just it. Um, does coffee really taste that good? Certainly does. What's terrible is life without coffee. Like a steam engine without coal. Yeah, I think they changed alcohol to coffee. Um, yeah. You must be from New Continent. You came by ship, right? That's right, the ship just came into port faster than I expected. If you like ships, visit the port. You ought to be able to see the ship I came on tied up at the pier. So, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> oh, she's sneaking some coffee. That's that's awful. He's not even 21. Um, okay, if you're looking for someone, ask the lady at the counter. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, you kids really helped us out. In gratitude, you can have whatever you want, heart. Um, okay. But Miss Curlian, did we go, uh, did we do anything you need to thank us for? Uh, do, do we do anything you need to thank us for? Don't you remember, Justin? You brought back the key to the shop today. What? That old lady. Was that you, Miss Curlian? Can't be. Uh, you didn't recognize her? By changing her mind and body with makeup, a woman is an enchantress. Um, okay. A woman is an enchantress, you say. Ah, ha, ha. You have a word with words, little Sue. Anyway, it looks like Java's not here tonight. Too bad. You can ask the other customers about him, though. Okay. Um, that's a little strange, but... Um, okay, so now they're saying different things. Many head to the end of the world only to lose their lives in the Misty Forest before they get there. End of the world, Misty Forest. Someday I'd like to go there. I know it. Okay, let's talk to this kid. Um, coming up, Miss Curly and one double cappuccino. Pippi? It's you, Pippi. What are you doing here? Don't you know, Justin? Me and my two sisters, Farrah and Curly, and run this cafe. Wow, Pippi, you're really irresponsible. Just a lot to learn from you. Um, um, getting seasick is no fun. Coffee gives me nice buzz. I think he's buzzing quite a bit. Yeah, there's no way that's coffee. Uh, Java, you say? Oh, you must be in that that self-styled great adventure, Java from Lek. Uh, not sure about self-styled, but please tell me about that, Mr. Java. Hmm, they say young Java was the best adventurer in Messinia. Uh, but since adventure went adventure went out of style, he's only uh, his only joy has been hanging around the cafe telling tales. And they took the adventurer away from the adventurer, so now he's holed up at Lek Mines. Hmm, I didn't even know anyone lived up at Lek Mines! Okay, so I guess we need to go to Lek Mines? Um... Wait, Justin! Puffy just gobble up some peanuts without asking! Let's go apologize to Miss Curly. What is that thing? I had no idea we were carrying that around with us. Alright. Um, I just remembered that Java forgot his wallet the last time he was here. Knowing Justin, I bet you want to go to Luck Mines to meet Java, right? Hee hee hee, you got it. Actually, I'm going tomorrow. Well then, could you please take this to Java, please? Java's wallet acquired. Um, to get to Luck Mines, we just take the train from the station, right? No problem, leave it to me. Um, and then, okay. Uh, Puffy says he's hungry. Come on, Justin, let's go home. Okay. Our adventures in Parham end here. Ah, oh, come on. We have to go to the Luck Mines tomorrow. Don't worry, Justin. You can continue your adventures on in October 99! See you then! Okay, so I guess that's the end of that part of the demo. So we'll go ahead and check out our battle here, see what that's like. Um, West Wrangle Mountains. Oh, and it's not even just like it drops us into a battle, but we're out on the, the world map here or something. So is this, uh, what is this? Uh, I guess it just lets us zoom out? Or, yeah. And it looks like we picked up uh, another character, the green-haired girl from the opening video, which is kind of cool. So, I'm... Okay, I was wondering if that we could see the enemies on the map, and it looks like we can. They're, they're like some kind of snake things. And, um... Inchworms, okay. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder... Um... Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, so we're just gonna kind of experiment. It looks like it is turn-based, but we're not, like, lined up like you would be in maybe, uh... A, um... A Final Fantasy game tactics moves magic. Hold on, what is um tactics? Uh, let's see here. Single tactics, party tactics. I don't know. I selected something. I think. Um, I didn't mean to, but stuff's happening. People are running around. Um, yeah, I have no idea if we're doing well. Uh, I think we're doing okay though. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure I get it. Uh, just yet. It's something that I probably have to do a few battles. But, okay, so I guess tactics maybe just set an automa automated battle, so they just... Bad, eh? It's set like an AI, so they're, they're making their own decisions. Because I didn't select anything more after I selected tactics. So I guess that's a way to maybe help the battles go along quickly if you know, if you trust them to be strong enough to handle it on their own. Uh, we got some skills and experience points, all very good. Um, okay, so... I'll treat... Oh, we're blinking. Are we hurt? I guess not. I'll treat this portion um, like I do a lot of other RPGs we've done, where I'll wander around and I'll do fights, but if we encounter anything that we fought before, I'll just kind of skip through it for the sake of saving time. Um, then I want—I do want to see if, what other kind of enemies that might be around here. Um, 
I don't know if we have an objective. It seems like we're in an enclosed area here. If there's anywhere for us to go, I don't see it immediately. I guess we can... Okay, I guess this turns into a hill. Um, let's see. Oh, there's another inchworm, I think. Ambushed. Okay, so inchworms and spitting cobras. Alright. I, I wasn't sure what we were dealing with there, but... Ah, uh, poison dust. Yeah. I don't... Hmm. So, are they still operating on the tactic I gave them before? Sue's learned fire away, okay. I don't know, uh... Yeah, right now it's not giving me any options to, uh... Do anything. It says play fair in the corner, is that our tactic? I don't... <laughs> Sleep gas, uh oh. Did it get us? Oh, it got all of us. Man, everyone's blinking. Yeah, this is pretty chaotic, I have no idea what's going on. Um, Sue's pretty hurt though, she's down to 29 HP, that looks bad. Um... Okay, I think... Alright, we got them though. Yeah, and there's that, I, I know you see that little, whatever it was, puff puff thing flying around over his Sue's head. It's it's cute, I just have no idea what it is. Um, I didn't know we had it until it started talking in the in the cafe. The quote-unquote cafe. So, alright, let's, um, let's see, can we... Uh, I feel like we should be able to use this for something, but all it really does is tell us where we are, it seems like. Um, it's another cobra, we'll avoid it for now. Looking around... So far, all we've seen wandering around are the cobras and the inchworms. Um, nothing, uh, nothing else immediately. What's this? This looks like a treasure. Um, I don't know. The, the screen's just more black. Um, mana egg found. Okay, so that's good. And we got to see the a different menu there for a second. Can I interact with this boulder? It's kind of just sticking out here. I guess not. Um, so there's a cobra. Oh, we angered it. Ah, it got us. Okay. Uh. That's cute. So, that uh, was just some more spinning cobras. Um, it looks like we need to be facing our enemies when we fight them, otherwise it's an ambush and we have a disadvantage. So we don't want to do that. Um, although the battles are still automated, I notice. I, I guess I'll have to do something to turn that off if I want to control them, but for now I think it's fine, because I... Honestly, don't know what I'm doing in the battle system, so we're probably better off just letting it um, do it by itself. Kind of like whenever we play football games. It looks like we found a new area here. Um, I don't know. Uh, East Wrangell Mountains. Okay, so we're in a different different mountains. Uh, looking, maybe there'll be something new here. There's like a little pond here. Um, it seems important. The camera's moving around on its own when we get close to it, but I can't seem to interact with it. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe if we maybe we're lacking an item like a pole or something. Um, sit pushing. I think we should camp here tonight. Okay. Hopefully that'll heal us because I think we're pretty bad off in this in that way. Um, but man, it's taking a little while. Okay. Oh, hey, we have a whole campsite set up. Nice. I slept great. Mm, yeah, the air is so cool and refreshing. Okay. Good morning, you two. What a beautiful morning. There she is. All right. Oh, Fina. You always wake up so early! We still don't know who this character is, or what her relationship is to them. Haha, <laughs> well of course, looks like you two still have a long way to go to become adventurers! I guess she's a veteran. Haha, <laughs> ah, cut it out, Fina. It was, the, I, it was the same when I first met you, up swabbing the deck of the steamer. Ah ha ha, Justin, I think luck is on our side today. The air is very clear this morning, so we can see real far, look! Look, there's the misty forest, and the end of the world. Wow, we've come a long way. We, we were just hearing about these in a cafe last time we uh, we uh, saw them mentioned, but yeah. Nice little panorama back there. Wow, it's huge! All of that is the Misty Forest? Vina, I can see the Misty Forest, but where's the end of the world? Look how you're up, Justin, toward the horizon. I guess it's that, I don't know, I just see the sun, but I guess it's kind of like a city, maybe? Or I can't tell if it's a city or clouds, but... um. Oh, the music's picking up. Okay, so we're getting a better look. Yeah, it is a city in the clouds, looks like. Um, kind of interesting. So I guess that's where we're trying to get to, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, okay, now we're back here. Oh, wow! That huge wall is the end of the world? Right, that's the end of the world. So do you believe me now? That is the end of the world. Hmm. I don't know. I need to get closer to tell. I've got to see it myself. I'm so excited now. I just... Know that Al Alent is waiting for us somewhere in that forest. Hey, <laughs> hey, Justin, you're the first person I know who gets excited just by looking at scenery. 
So, let's get going, huh? Once we cross the Wrangle Mountains, the Dom Ruins are right there. Okay, let's go. Our first destination, the Dom Ruins. Alright, and I'm assuming that glowing thing there is a save point, but, um, let's see. We cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how we healed, I guess. So, we're still going. Okay. Let's keep going to it. I think we're going the right way. I don't actually know where we're trying to get to. Um, this is, I don't think this is the way we came. I don't know. I, I, can, I can get a little turned around. Yeah, this is one of those things. A boulder. Oh, new enemy. Some birds, looks like. Okay, so we're going to fight some, some birds of some kind. I don't know how we could have... Oh, they're odd birds, huh? I don't know how we could have been prepared for them, though, because they came from above. Further shuriken, that's... That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So, yeah, we're just uh, watching this fight again. Um, let's see. Can I... Yeah, I'm pressing some buttons, but none of them are actually doing anything. So, I don't know how to change it back to where we control it. Um, oh, I guess something I did did it, because now we're... Um, here, let's try some moves magic. Um, knife hurl. Let's try that on the odd bird, the one that's left. Just throw that knife. Hopefully I don't hit um, our main character there. But no, she jumped up, so there we go. Okay, and I did it. Yeah, okay. So now we're in control of our battles again. I don't know, I honestly don't know which is better, boys. But um, we got some more gold, some more skills and experience. Okay. Um, looking good so far. I wonder if this is our full party. This is everyone we saw in the um, in the opening video. So I, I'm not sure if there's other characters that we play with. Or if it's just these three and then occasionally somebody else will join maybe because the screen looks like it was built for a four person party um, when we ha it shows our battle screen and that's kind of more the, the like the, the default for uh, these types of adventure games so I'm not sure I'm just just speculating so it looks like some more enemies we've seen before ah oh, crap I was hoping we could get away from them, but that inchworm snuck up on us All right, we won. yeah we did it okay so, got a Chala. That's cool. I don't know what that is, but we got one. Um, let's see. East Wrangle Mountains. Okay, I think this is where we're trying to go, right? Uh, ooh, what's this? A sparkly thing. Looks like, um... A ginseng. Okay. That, alright, that's probably useful. Uh, wish we could run. Oh, okay. So we can run. Alright, sweet. I decided to start trying some buttons out. One of them zoomed us in. This will actually be good for avoiding enemies, since I don't want to do too many fights if we can avoid them. Um, like, I don't mind fighting new things, but like, these I'm tired of these cobras. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes and this motherfucking grandia. Let's see. Um, just some gold, I guess. Crap. Oh, ah, they got us. I like that they blink red when they're agitated. It's kind of a neat touch. Um, ambushed again. Not bad, eh? Yeah. Um... Just a few spitting cobras, nothing we haven't seen before. I have switched back to our automated fights. I think they just go faster that way. Let's see. Whew. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to cut out a little bit of our walking around here. Even with the run thing, I think this is probably gonna take a little bit of longer than I'd really like. So, um... If something new happens, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Let's see. What is this? Move seed. Okay, got a move seed. We're in the West Wrangle Mountains now. Um, not very far into it, but uh, yeah. Let's see, picking up some items here. Oh, but we got ambushed from behind. Not bad, eh? Yeah. All right. So, um, 82 gold. Not bad. Um, new stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is what I was trying to pick up. Some, I think it's just some gold, right? Uh, or a Y metal. Okay, I wonder what that means. Um, let's see. I still haven't figured out what these are for. Other than maybe reminding us where we are. But, oh, we can go down this hill. Okay. So, oh no! <sighs> Enemies. Ah, oh, crap. Fina's dead. Um, yeah, this one's not going too well. We, we've taken a lot of damage in these fights. Mostly because they're always, we're always being ambushed. Um, which I guess is my fault for always trying to run away from them, but I really don't want to fight these things. Um, yeah, Sue's dead. We might actually end up losing here. Uh, and if that happens, I think we'll just call it quits. We've got a pretty good idea of how the battles go, um, and how the map works, and there might be some more story if we can get to where we were trying to get to, and I'd kind of like to see that. 
but at the same time, uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is not going well at all. Um, if I knew what I was doing, I would take control and maybe turn things around, maybe. But um, I honestly don't think I could. So there we go. Justin's down too. All right. So uh, oh, no. game over. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. That's sad. Come on, Justin. <laughs> Oh well, um, that's fine. This is this was a fun game though. Um, I think <laughs> I think I would need to learn how to do the battle system better. So this is NFL Blitz 2000. Um, I think I don't think it was last week, but maybe two weeks ago we played a, a football game I kind of kind of liked. Hopefully uh, this will keep up that uh, that theme. And I think uh, there's a chance. I know the PS1 football games tend to be at least a little bit fun. Um, I don't know what somewhere around the point where the PS2 came out, they they kind of dropped a lot of the gimmicks out of the uh, out of the games, and I think sometimes they can be annoying, and I've seen them done very poorly. But sometimes they can be fun. I think the Blitz games um, can be a little fun. They're not just straight up like realistic football simulation games. Um, at least if they're the ones I'm thinking of, and and I have no idea. It's so easy for me to get these uh, different football franchises mixed up in my head. Um, but if this ever loads, okay, so. We're starting out right off the bat. Um, I'm not sure which team we are. I'm guessing, yeah, we're receiving, I, I assume. Uh, got a nine yard return. I think that's bad. Uh, I assume it's bad because I'm playing, so. Um, oh, I think I just skipped the video. I thought we were playing for a second. Uh, instead, we are loading. Okay. Uh, we're. We, I am, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, this seems familiar. Did, has this happened to us before? We're. We just end up looking at a bunch of screens. Okay, so I don't know. Um, I I think that was a preview. I think I thought I was playing, uh, and we weren't because it it didn't do anything to tell me we weren't playing. So instead, we're we're loading a lot. Now wait, this is the same thing. Um, this is demo mode. Okay, so I don't. Yeah, I um. So let me press X. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I do remember this happening. Um, so do I press? Okay, I press like start or something on that screen, and now we're playing the game. Why is that? Why is it set up like that? But now we actually have more like a traditional thing. It looks like we have two people playing on the same team. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's normal uh, with football games. But yeah, what did it say? Press start anywhere on the. Uh, on the screen with the big face, because that's where I was supposed to press start. Um, now, what's, I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> there was there was a little thing in the corner that changed when I pressed X, but that's that's the only thing we could do on that screen. Okay, so we got past the um, the puzzle to open up the game, and now now we're playing. I'm Turbo, um, and I'm actually yeah okay actually controlling still. Still a nine yard return. Um, okay, some general info. Don't care. I don't care what I'm doing. There we go. All right. It's um, we got uh, we got some stuff to do here. Five yard run. Um, okay. So let's see. Where's something? This looks crazy. Okay. Let's try. Okay. So this game doesn't let me autoplay. When I don't press a button, nothing happens. So that's good to know. Um, I'm glad we figured out how to play. I was really confused. No gain, zero gain. Ugh. Punt or punt. Um, yeah, I don't know if I did that right, but he got it. Okay, so we handed it over instead of losing it. And ah, oh, crap. That would have been so good if we punted and then picked it up off a of fumble. Uh, instead, they almost touched down. Uh, okay, that's whatever. Goal line sounds good. They're at first and goal. Um, yeah. Just uh, turn that guy inside out. So yeah, this game looks and feels a lot like um, NFL Extreme 2, which I've mentioned before is the only football game I ever played as a kid. Um, it's not exactly the same, of course, but it's like it's a similar era, so there, there's not too much difference. We haven't noticed anything too over the top, but at the same time, the game's pretty fast-paced, which I appreciate. It's got more of that arcade feel. Um, not that I think there's a whole lot of arcade football games. I'm not sure uh, if there are. I, if there were, I would always overlook them. Um, so I, I can't really say if they're hard. Uh, 22 yard return, that's much better. And I started out not realizing we were playing, so we never saw them kick it. Okay, 
Whoa! That went way out there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <sighs> One yard loss. Really? It looks like he's right on that line. Okay. Well. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Turnover. Oh my God. They. They got us. <laughs> But I just like suplexed that guy, I guess, or do I don't know what happened there. But we are never gonna get out of this zone. Um just oh, eight yard loss on them. Hey, that's good. That's good, we did good. So um I noticed that we're playing the Jets, which is cool because that's the game that's the team I always played on NFL Extreme 2. I always played this the Jets, even though I'm from the Kansas City area, my parents are Kansas City fans, uh, so you'd think I would play the Chiefs. But I never really cared about any of that. I just thought the Jets had a cool uniform. I like their green and white aesthetic. Um, there's the end of the first quarter. So I always play the Jets, so it's kind of cool that we got to play there now. Uh, we got up to four players, blitz passing, offensive, defensive, audibles, create your own plays, new stadiums, new fields, on fire mode, custom team playbooks, play 1990-2000 NFL season, multiplayer tournaments, many new secret heads, plus many more features, buy NFL Blitz 2000, and in the name entry screen, enter the code DINO1111. Um, for a bonus game code. I don't know what it would unlock, but it looks like, uh, looks like that's it for us. There's our, our awful score. Um, I'm glad we, they didn't get any test sounds on us, at least. Um, but yeah, that was really quick paced, pretty fun. Honestly, I, I kind of like it better than NFL Street, despite being a little bit more, uh, straightforward, just because it's got that kind of retro charm, plus that arcade-like speed that I, I appreciate. So it never gets quite as boring as, say, uh, your average modern-day baseball game. What is this box? I can open it, but nothing seems to really happen when I do. Can I jump into it? Okay. That makes sense. So, um, I'm a ninja. Okay. The box turned me into a ninja.